Hi. Okay. Uh, uh, in this class, we are going to talk about the brushes. Okay. So, in, for the brushes, uh, we don't use brushes uh, more frequently uh, for this uh, lesson because we are going to color it by selections. Okay. So, what I am going to do is uh, just I am going to say. Uh, something about these brushes okay because uh, later on we are going to use uh, these brushes but as of now we are doing only the basic coloring so brush is not required as much as is required in the later stage of the project okay so for this thing uh, if you want to know about the brush we have all the properties of these tools over here okay this is the properties okay of this tool how it works and how we can control the tool okay so here we have this thing uh, here we have um, the properties where the you can choose which type of brush you can use okay so what i'm going to do is i am going to reset the brushes okay okay so by default you have all these brushes in your photoshop document so you find this brush uh, which I am going to use it on a new document ok so I don't want to waste uh, uh, that file uh, maybe accidentally I may save it uh, for this thing ok so I don't want to do that so uh, what I am going to do is I am going to change the color, color of this thing to something like red ok or pink so I have selected the smooth brush this is the smooth brush and this is the hard brush okay so here th we have the brush size you can change the brush size okay you can find the cursor the size of the circle has increased if you increase the size then it will increase more okay this is the size of the brush you are going to use and this is the hardness of the brush you are going to do you can see here it is going very hard ok if you decrease this thing it is going to become more smooth ok so what is this smooth brush so what I am going to do is for this document I am going to click with smooth brush so this is the smooth brush so it will be like a blurred brush ok so I am going to use a hard brush and now I am going to change the color a little bit and I am going to use this hard brush ok so this is the hard brush so it's very sharp edge one and this one is very smooth one so if you want to change the colors you can change over here okay whatever colors you want to change you can change over here okay and you can paint over you, you just play around with the brushes so that uh, how you will have more control over the brush and everything ok so you have more different type of brushes and you can test every brush you have see this is something like uh, uh, oil paint brushes or something like that so you have more brushes I will provide you the brushes okay which we have to use uh, for this project so don't worry about that thing okay uh, so test all these brushes okay they will have different values and different styles of stroking okay so see how the brushes behave uh, when you are painting okay you have air brushes also and uh, you can increase the size of your brush uh, 
a little more just a little more uh, so that you can see the impact uh, of the brush okay see the impact of the brush is very minimal for this type of brush and for this type of brush is more okay so all these things will change uh, depending on the type of brush you are going to use okay okay so we have more uh, like uh, rough brushes depends on the color you pick uh, okay uh, so that this is the combination of two colors okay so to use those two colors you will have the blend of two colors okay dark and uh, brushes uh, you will understand how these brushes are working and uh, uh, how you can uh, change the way and look of the BG you are creating okay you should have more command on the brushes okay what we are using if I change this to something like orange then we will have multiple colors okay so check all these brushes and uh, you have here don't change this blend mode okay this modes you don't change okay you can control the opacity of the brush if you want to have very light light uh, variation in the brush then you can use this brush <coughs> uh, to create a very less okay like glass effect or something like you, the impact will be very less on this thing okay opacity uh, to change the opacity then it will be very less and if you change it to 100 it will be pure pure color you cannot see what is behind it if you have zero then you can cannot paint anything because it's zero okay if you say it's 50 then you can see beneath it what is there okay so what is this flow opacity is different flow is different flow is the amount of liquid which is generated in the brush while we stroke okay so if you decrease this thing to be less see it will be very less it's something like it's almost like opacity but here you find that whenever it goes to the end it will decrease the impact of the ink and it will slowly dies off ok so don't uh, care about this flow but you should always take care about the opacity values ok and if uh, don't forget uh, to keep it in 100% of the work because you will find something is happening wrong when you are painting and you have to again repaint the things so better after changing the value and working and please keep in mind to change it over to 100 so that it will not affect the rest of the work you are doing after this uh, coloring work ok so like that you can change all the things ok next comes the eraser eraser also has the properties of the brush ok so we can erase the things but here why 
this green color is coming because it is the background color so we don't have a layer so just I will take a layer and I will draw something green on this thing and if I erase this layer green then you can see what is behind okay and here also we have opacity the how much the brush uh, eraser has to work if I change it to them it will be very light you know you if you keep on erasing at the same spot then it will go to 100 okay same spot okay uh, so change it to 100 back again okay so next we have the gradients gradients are nothing but taking you there uh, gradients are nothing but uh, you will have multiple colors okay it's not a single color you will have multiple colors to play with okay what I am going to do is I am going to draw some type of irregular object okay shape okay if I fill uh, a color means if I want to fill a orange color then if I press control backspace then we'll find that we have the color which is uh, in the background color this is foreground color and this is background color so if you press you'll find that if you press control plus backspace you'll get background color filled inside the selection and if there is no selection then if you press control backspace the whole document will have the background color okay so I'll press ctrl Z to go back one step uh, and if you want to press alt backspace then you are going to fill the foreground color means which is over here to fill inside the selection okay just keep in mind if you want to fill a base color single color if you want to fill the foreground color which is over here then you have to press alt backspace alt backspace see i'm going to change this color to blue then if i press alt backspace it will be blue color and if you press control backspace it will be the background color okay so these are the methods how to fill colors inside the selection this method will use frequently frequently so it's better to have it these shortcuts alt backspace for foreground color control backspace for background color okay to fill into the selection and if you want to have multiple colors means this is the single color if you want to have multiple color then you can go to gradients gradients have multiple colors okay you have more number of gradients here we'll always work with only two color gradient okay we'll not use three color gradients or something like that we'll always use two color gradient to create depths in the image okay so what i'm going to do is if i want to have these two combinations then i can just simply select the linear and drag this thing like this means this will be starting point blue color and this will be the ending point green color so click and drag in the angle whatever you want okay in the angle then if you press it will be the same thing if you drag this direction then the gradient will go linearly from this direction to that side if you draw from here to here then it will be different and if you draw from here to here it will be different okay so play around this thing to understand this tool okay and how it works okay if you press the circle it will be the circle okay and if you want to change the center one to green and outside color to blue then you have to press this reverse you have to keep this then the color will change here see okay so if you want to apply the green then you can press this thing. okay and here also we have the opacity value for this thing also the same thing is the same effect you going to achieve every time okay okay keep it 200 don't forget okay 
so next uh, keep it to linear okay now next uh, we are going to next tool okay uh, i'm going to elaborately say how we can work uh, with the document okay in the next class okay thank you